Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and welcome to How Do I Root the Nook Color to Run Honeycomb, aka Android 3.0, on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're going to take a look at how to get honeycomb on your Nook Color, and in this episode specifically, we're going to talk about why you'd want honeycomb on your Nook, some of the benefits and detriments, and we're going to gather our materials before we get started. Now, the Nook Color is a $250 e-reader device. It's got a capacitive touchscreen, much better than the imprecise and non-multi-touch resistive touchscreens of many other inexpensive Android tablets. Now the software that runs on the unmodified Nook Color is based on Android and it works quite well for an e-reader. It includes a rudimentary web browser and a few games and simple apps, but its primary function is as an e-reader. If you want to make the Nook Color do a bit more, it's fairly easy to do and we'll show you how in this series. Now XDA developers user Deeper Blue has created a simple solution to get Honeycomb running on your Nook Color. Now perhaps the best part about the solution is that it doesn't require that you permanently modify the Nook. The Honeycomb Android 3.0 OS runs on a micro SD card. Remove the card, you remove the hack. And you're right back to using the Nook Color as Barnes & Nobles originally intended. Assuming you have your Nook Color already, the cost of this hack is going to be about $50 for the micro SD card. Here's what you'll need. One Nook Color, that will cost you about $250. You'll need one micro SD card, class 4 or better. Now class refers to basically the speed of the micro SD card. Like I say, you'll want class 4 or better. And you'll also want a 4 gigabytes or greater card. We recommend an 8 plus gigabyte card. You can get an 8 gig card like we're going to use in this hack for $50. You'll need Deeper Blue's nookhoney 04image file. You can get that at bscotch.tv slash nookhoney. That's free. One Windows or Mac computer, which we presume you already have. One micro SD card reader or an SD card reader and micro SD card adapter. Word to the wise, while you can do this hack with the 4 gigabyte card, you'd be advised to grab at least an 8 gig card if you intend to put the Android market on the device and in turn download some apps. In the next episode, we'll begin and complete the Nook Color Honeycomb hack, and in subsequent episodes, we'll look at getting the Android market and Google apps running on the device. For more episodes in this series and for full step-by-step -step show notes on the rooting process, visit butterscotch.com.